Next, we will focus on provisioning services, that is, the benefits provided to people that can be extracted from nature. Water supply, as the name entails, is the filtering, retention, and storage of water. Provisioning of fresh water for drinking and irrigation are two examples of water supply. Food is probably the first thing that comes to mind when thinking about ecosystem services. It is the role of nature in providing edible plants and animals for human consumption. Examples of this service include hunting and gathering of fish, game, fruits, and other edible animals and plants. Raw materials include materials for building and manufacturing, such as fuel and energy, soil and fertilizer, and timber and fuel wood. As an example, forests provide wood for manufacturing and construction purposes, and oysters, with their shells, provide materials for roads and chicken feed. Genetic resources are the self-maintaining diversity of organisms developed over time that allows ecosystems to continue to change and adapt to different environmental conditions. This includes genes that improve crop resistance to pathogens, pests, and other diseases. As a consequence, a decrease in genetic resources leads to a decrease in ecosystem resilience which is the capacity of the ecosystem to adapt to stress and adversity. Medicinal resources include biological and chemical substances for use in drugs and pharmaceuticals. As seen in this picture, echinacea is a plant found in prairies that is commonly used to fight infections such as the common cold and flu. Ornamental resources include natural materials used for fashion, handicraft, decorations, worship, and souvenirs. Shells and pearls are a common example of ornamental resources. 